D.W. Harris, and I've got my um, Gamo Bone Collector, 22 caliber, and I have my um, Auto Loader Swarm thing uh, taken off, so I'm going to shoot, uh, load the gun manually, shoot a down range of 40 yards, and I have three pellets that I uh, want to test. Three targets down there, so let's get to it. <clears throat> okay, there's three targets, and uh, <clears throat> the first fellow I'm going to shoot is a Hades, uh, and it's 15.89 grain. Shoot the target on the left. And I'm loading all these pellets manually. So we know for sure there's no interference with any kind of uh, magazine or the loader. And uh, we take five shots at each one. And this will be number three. And this is, uh, this will be the last one, the fifth shot of the Hades. Okay, let's put these away. <clears throat> and next, we'll use the, uh, J JSB 15.89 grain. And, uh, shoot those at the middle target and see how they do. And what we're going for is grouping here. See which pellets group the best. I had sighted the gun in with the Hades originally. Just taking my time here. Make sure the, I'm right on yeah, the cross here is right on the center of the target. And this will be number five. The JSPs. Okay, put these away. And then 
I've got the FX 15.9 grain. So all the pellets are the same weight. See how these ones do. Number three here. One more. All right, that's it. That's five for the FX. So, go out and grab those targets, get them up here. And Get a close look at them. Okay, we've got our targets up here. And we started off with the Hades here. And the washer covers them all up. Except for one. And then, um, <clears throat> JSBs. We got four of them in the same real pretty tight group. And covers them all up and we had one out. And the FX, got three of them in a tight group and then two of them, two of them out. So, <clears throat> the Hades and the JSB. And it looks like the, uh, the, uh, the JSBs did better and tighter group and one out than, and than the Hades did. But, um... Let's just shoot the, uh, the Hades and the JSB one more time. I'll put some new targets on here and we'll see, see if we come up with the same result. Alright, I've got the new targets out there. So we can retest the JSB and the um, Hades and we're going to shoot the Hades first. That's the target on the left. See how they do. And before I do, let me give the scope a couple of clicks here and see if I can raise up the uh, point of aim a little.
and got the last one here, number five, for the Hades. Hmm. Okay, so now, shoot the JSP at the middle target again. See how this groups. And we got number four coming. And one more. Okay, that's it. Number five for the JSP. Let me go grab that and uh, we'll see what happened here. Alright, here's the targets again. The Hades and uh, well, we got two out on the Hades this time. And the JSPs can cover right up with the washer, no problem. So, JS, JSPs did uh, the best twice, so definitely the JSP 15.89 grain is uh, the best palette for, for my uh, bone collector anyways. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's how it shoots with the JSP 15.89. Eight nine, I think it is. Let me just take a look at that. Yeah, fifteen point eight nine grains. And <clears throat> I removed my uh, auto loader because uh, the guns—it's it, got quite a few miles on it. I've had it for a while, and uh, after a while, the uh, seems like the auto auto loaders on these gamos they distort the pellets and stuff like that so I just take it off and that way I know I put it in the barrel and there's you know there's nothing wrong with the pellet and it shoots great like this shoots much better but if you have a new one you know it takes quite a few you use it quite a while before uh, that plastic uh, auto loader thing goes on it and uh, that's going to be it for this one guys Except for one last thing, it, you just use it like a regular brake barrel with the auto loader off, like that, to pellet it right in there, you know, stick it right in there, close it up. Shoot it. You're all set. So. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.